Hello on Wednesday the 8th of June and I hope that the week is going well for you. Our opening prayer. In the morning, Lord, you hear our voices. In the morning, we lay our requests before you and wait expectantly. So may this day be full of God's presence. Amen. Today's readings are Psalm 16 and 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 20 to 39. There's absolutely no doubt that people like to follow a winning team. That's why all of the major English football clubs have worldwide support. And we find that people here follow Barcelona or Real Madrid. If you listened to the interviews with Liverpool supporters after those disturbing events which occurred in Paris, they come from all over the world and not all of their accents have got that hint of scouse in them. However, they knew which side they were supporting and that, I must say, is rather more than the people of Israel know in today's reading. For the people of Israel, their problem is that they want to be on the winning side. But they're not sure which the winning side is. Now I find this rather surprising to learn because their ancestors had entered into a covenant relationship with the Lord our God. You'd have thought that it should have been undoubted which side they were on, but apparently not because they have managed to get diverted by other options over the years, including the Baals. Elijah tells them to stop prevaricating and make a choice, rather than sitting on the fence. Their response is to look vacant and say nothing. It's always a good neutral option to take. However, they do warm to the idea of a challenge because they're hoping that the outcome of the challenge is going to make the decision for them. And this challenge is all to do with sacrifices. The followers of the bars prepare their bull, but try as they may, they can't offer their sacrifice because their fires won't light. Elijah then prepares a similar sacrifice and apparently makes the task much more difficult by dousing things liberally with water. But against all the known forces of nature, the water sets alight. That can only be because of God, the creator of all, who is in control of the whole universe. And following this, it becomes clear to the people which side they should be following, something they should have known in the first place from their ancestors. But as it says in verse 39 of our reading, the Lord, he is God. And let's echo that thought in our hearts and minds. Our next prayer. King of kings and Lord of lords, fill the hearts of all in authority with the love of you and your ways, and with all that is right and life-giving, so that together with them we may be wise and worthy stewards for you here on earth. Amen. For our prayer points today, let's pray for family life. Let's pray that people in need of rest actually manage to get it. And importantly, let's pray for everyone who is unwell and awaiting treatment or diagnosis. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen in all of the busyness of last week i forgot to mention that i'd seen the reverend barbara who sends her love and blessings and i think that you'll all want to know that she's keeping well and enjoying life